Friendly warning, the following content may contain nudity, may also contain massive amounts of blood and gore, may also contain crap tons of swearing. So if you are at work, you probably really should not watch this. Thanks for watching. Welcome everybody to the first episode of my ultra modded Skyrim Let's Play. I'm going to be starting a new character. I already have an idea of what type of new character I would like. And actually, um, <coughs> I have a save file that I use, new character start. So we will just load that up really quick. I, this is saved right before the character generation. So uh, once this finishes loading, what will automatically pop in is it'll be in the middle of uh, we just got caught and we just got brought to the camp. Uh, I do have to apologize, <coughs> the load screens can be a little long sometimes because of the fact that this is an ultra modded Skyrim. Uh, when I say ultra modded, I'm not talking about 20 mods, 30 mods, I'm not even talking about 50 mods. I have a grand total of about 100 plus mods installed on my Skyrim right now. This ranges from everything to very simple texture edits, very simple mesh edits, to uh, complete overhauls, uh, such as Deadly Dragons, uh, let's see, uh, Armory of Tamriel, um, there's so many more, uh, UFO, uh, Ultimate Follower overhaul. So I may or may not actually need to pause during the load screens. Uh, it seems as though Skyrim does not like to load while Fraps is recording. So you may see a lot of cuts. I will try and do them as gracefully as possible. Um, speaking of, give me a moment. Yep, and there we go. As soon as I stopped recording, Skyrim finished loading. I want to take a look at that and see if I can't figure out what's going on. But here we go. So we're starting up. Brand new game. We're going to get their butts kicked. Poor, poor guy. Alright. This is a very convenient save file. I love it. Absolutely love it. Who are you? Alright, so, um, I don't have an idea of what class I'd like to be quite yet, or what race I'd like to be, but I do have an idea of what class I'd like to be. Um, I really love the Dark Brotherhood line, uh, I really, I've never done the Thief's Guild, and I have totally, I want to do it this time around, so I'm thinking some type of magical assassin, just for shits and giggles. I'm gonna get her a couple bows. Um, uh, speaking of her, I'm gonna make it a girl. There we go. Uh, probably gonna end up getting her a couple bows, probably get her some, uh, assassin -y magic, like, uh, muffle, and, um, I have another mod that added, uh, that adds, um, poison-based spells, like poison runes, poison bolts, things like that. I'll probably end up getting that just for giggles. Uh, I'd probably like her to have alchemy so that, um, let's choose her race here, there we go. Probably like her to have alchemy so she can make poisons and potions and things. It seems very assassin-ish. Uh, let's see, alteration light armor, lock picking, pickpocketing, restoration sneak. Okay, so that's, uh, Nord's actually not too bad for, oh wait a minute, no, 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 Argonian. There we go. Okay, that was the Argonian I was reading. I thought so, I was like, wait a minute, Nord doesn't have sneak. Um, I do like the Argonians. I actually, um, they are my preferred race to play for most uh, Elder Scrolls games. I really do like them. Um, either them or Kaijit, honestly. Uh, the depth of field is going a little crazy. Let me turn off ENB right now. Bretons, Bretons are cool. They look awesome. Alchemy, Alteration, Conjuration, Illusion, Restoration, Speechcraft. Okay, that seems like it could be kind of assassin-y. We got Alchemy. We've got illusion and speechcraft. That's not bad to think about that. <coughs> Dark elves. Alchemy, alteration, destruction. Illusion, light armor, and sneak. Now that seems like that would be an excellent assassin. I'm going to think about this one. I think I have some more presets I can use for the head. I'll take a look. High elf, uh, alteration, conjuration, destruction, enchanting. Not really. Imperial? Block, destruction, enchanting, heavy armor, that doesn't really work for an assassin. Oh, the Kaijits. I love the Kaijits. I have, um, 
the hell is it called? I don't even remember. Better Khajiits or something like that. So it, it fixes their skins a little bit and they look really, really nice. Uh, let's see. I have another custom race called the Ningheim. They're quite pretty. Um, they have some very interesting powers. They're a little... You know, after I installed them and I played one of them for a little bit, I feel like they might be a little overpowered. Mm, she doesn't exactly have all the stats that I want either. Light armor, one-handed, smithing. No, no two-hand. Although I suppose I could do two-hand. Boy, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? An assassin that uses bows and magic. And a two-handed weapon. Huh. I hadn't really thought about that. I, I, But, you know, I don't like two-hand weapons too much. Block, enchanting, heavy armor, smithing. Probably not. Oh, the red guards. I have a couple red guards, actually. I love playing the red guards. Um, oh, she's got a little... Hmm. I'm going to have to investigate what that, um, what that artifact is. That's odd. Alteration, archery, block, destruction... One-handed. That's a pretty close runner for the Dark Elf. Though the Dark Elf has 10 to destruction, and honestly I'm probably going to be mostly using archery, sneak, and destruction magic. Uh, the Wood Elves make really good Assassins too. Alchemy, archery, light armor, lockpicking, pickpocketing, sneak. Hmm. I think I'm gonna try a dark elf. Let's see if I've got any good presets going on. Oh, that's the preset slot. That's the wrong thing. Uh. Oh, that's not. That one's not too bad. By the way, uh, this mod that you're probably looking at right now on the left-hand side, that one's not bad, I can probably fix that one up, is the uh, race menu mod. Very convenient um, for just basically doing all the sliders in one place. You can also do a ton more customization than you could have with the normal uh, interface. You can have multiple layers of tattoos. As you can see, I have overlays over here. Um, I'm going to use this one as a base, and then I'm going to play with it a little bit. So uh, I'm going to mess around with it for a little while, and uh, I will come back once I've got a character that's almost pretty much how I want her, uh, and then we will get into game. Okay, I think I've got her the way I want her. Um, yeah, if you're going to get killed by an assassin, should at least be a pretty assassin. Um, I've put a couple tattoos on her using the overlays function, so we'll see how they look. Um, you can only kind of zoom out and move the camera so far, so yeah, we'll see how they come out. I think they came out nice, though. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do... yes, we are done. And I'm going to name her what? Um, she's an archer who kills people with destruction magic that's poison. Hmm. I don't know. Think of something random. What does she look like? She looks like a siren. Like someone that would lure somebody in so that she could kill them. Um. Selena? Yeah, I like that. That works. That's okay. I'm alright with that. Who are you? Another refugee? Gods really have abandoned your people, Dark Elf. Captain, what All should right. we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. D uh, what? By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to Morrowind. Well, I'm totally not joining Follow you people. Prisoner. Fun times. Yeah, so um, while this little sequence goes through, because I'm assuming that you've seen it before, if you haven't, uh, go watch a, somebody oh, else's Frick, Let's Play, go. because I've seen this about um, here in Helgen, um, you a hero. 30 times a hero easily. The the so I'm just going to chat over it for a minute. 
basically, uh, the ENB that I have active is a uh, lighting mod. Um, it is Real Vision ENB, I believe. Very nice. Uh, Real Vision ENB combined with Climates of Tamriel which makes some really, really beautiful visuals, but doesn't really kill the frame rate, um, as you could probably tell. To be fair, um, I have got a uh, 660, I've got two 660 TIs doing SLI. So, all right, this is gonna be fun and gory. Yum. Ugh. Sucks to be you. You were like three seconds too early. The dragon would have come save us all. Oh, it sucks to be you, sir. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I also have another mod you may notice going on right there. Uh, what is it? That's enhanced blood textures. So when uh, something like decapitation or whatnot happens, you will see blood textures, you will see excessive no, blood spurts. Just makes it look a little nicer. I it's not too realistic that I think it's disgusting. It I just adds a little something. Um, it makes blood stick on your weapons and stuff. It just looks really cool. Like, you see his axe has got a shitload of blood on it. Um, okay, come on, let's get this over with. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, hey, my buddy's head. How you doing, sir? I'm not sure how the depth of field is going to work with this. We'll find out in a second. Oh, looks like it worked good. Okay, cool. Hey, Alduin, what's going on? Oh, dear. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, I've got a ton of mods installed on here. A hundred something. Um, I'm literally just going to try and explain them as I come across them. Why is this dude attacking him, and who is he? <laughs> like, you just beat the shit out of my friend. Uh, you okay? Roll off, come on. You do it, man. Let's go. Come on. I'd pick you up if I can, but I can't. See, it leaves, like, these nice blood trails and stuff. Ooh, hello. It actually makes for some really cool uh, RP, like, hunting and stuff like that. Really nice. Who is this dude? And oh, he must be a mercenary. Okay. Legends don't burn down villages. He is hurting. Everybody's hurting. Everybody's getting the crap beaten out of him. Oh, hang on a second. I gotta turn off that autosaving feature. Sorry. There's a couple things that I have to fix. Uh, t -t 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 -t. I want the sky dial. I want not 24 hours. And then dynamic time scale. I need to turn off the autosave. Um, on my regular playthroughs, the autosave is okay, but it causes like this weird lag, so I just turned it off. There we go. That should be all we set now. Up through the tower. Oh, I'm going to save this too. Go. You'll probably notice that I use the console to save a lot. I honestly find it easier to save through the console than to actually go into the menu and shit, because since I have MCM installed, it uh, tends to slow down the menus a little bit. Um, adds a lot of really awesome features, but it does tend to slow down the menus. So I just use the console to save. This way I can name the save files too. Yes. Well, you were the one. Okay. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. Your faction was the one that wanted to take my head off. Why the frig would I trust you? Why would I trust you? Yeah. Stay close to the wall! Uh huh. Okay, okay. Yep, here comes Alduin. As I said, I've been through this particular zone about 30 billion times. Sometimes I would just create characters, play them a little bit, and then delete them if I didn't like them. Oh god, did I just... Oh no, that was... Okay. That was ragdoll physics. I must have gotten hit by something that knocked me down. I was like, oh shit, I didn't think I could die during this part. Maybe I can. Maybe I should be a little bit more careful. 
Um, yeah, so you'll see the armor that he has on and some of the uh, weapons and stuff that he has on. That's part of uh, Armory of Tamriel. It adds a whole bunch of different uh, weapons, a whole bunch of different... See, he's got a different sword. Um, yeah, it adds a whole bunch of weapons and awesome things in it that are not in the normal game. So, like, if I wanted to make an Orichalium Nordic Axe, I could totally do that. I'm going with you, bro. We got we got caught together. I'm gonna... I can cut you loose inside. Oh, Come okay. I always forget if he cuts you loose outside or inside, which is hilarious because, like I said, I've done the zone about a billion and a half times. But let's see if there's something in here. Oh, I gotta stop recording. Hang on a second. Okay, sorry about that. All right, we are in the keep. Yeah, as I said, I'll do the cuts as gracefully as possible. Um, I do have to stop recording between s between zone loads. I'll try in the future Looks like we're the only to do as few it. zone loads as possible. That thing was a dragon. No shit, no Sherlock. Doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. Mm -hmm. The harbingers of the end times. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yes, please. There you go. Am I close enough? Thank you. Hey, hey. That armor on Ganyar isn't doing him any good. All right. I'll grab some of this light armor. Light armor. There we go. Um, just um, to give you fair warning, gentlemen are not naked, but um, when I loot the ladies, they are completely nude. So. If for some reason you have a problem with that, or you happen to be watching this at work, I would advise that, that you game. probably stop watching now, um, because it's going to happen a lot. <laughs> and I'm not going to turn it off, because I enjoy it far too much. No way to open this from outside. Again, no shit Sherlock. I thought that there was a... Oh. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Look at this, I can test my sneak skills already. And they're bad. Oh, they're totally bad. Yeah, I know. Okay. Whee! Oh, you can see my tattoos when I swing. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I made the tattoos glow. It's totally awesome. Totally not obvious for an assassin, but oh well, I don't care. <laughs> Looks awesome. Alright, anyway. Alright, he's gonna open the door. I'm gonna loot these guys. Ah, uh, she has a sort of short sword. Heavy, 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 heavy armor. Don't need that. Uh, light armor. Light armor. Light armor. Light armor. Another sword. Yeah. Lots of blood. Uh, I also do have the ragdoll physics enabled. So, uh creatures and enemies tend to die in a little bit more realistic way because sometimes it can be a little like are you joking? You, are you really going to do that? Alright, for right now I'm going to dual wield these suckers. Uh, on, this way. Just because I typically do a lot of dual wielding. But later down the road I'll probably switch to either a two hand weapon or sword and board for my um, melee weapon set because I don't want to rely on just my bow and arrows and my magic stuff's going to get up and in my face so god damn it roll off and I really love dual wielding in Skyrim Ooh, I think he's got a cloak on him. Let's see. I also have cloaks of Skyrim. Yes, he has an Imperial cloak. I'll take that. I don't care. Um, let's see here. Is there anything, any food or anything I might need? I could use the rabbit. I could probably use the pheasant. Uh, I'm going to take all the food that I can find because I have another mod installed called uh, Realistic Needs and Diseases. So inevitably, at some point, I'm going to need to actually eat and drink and sleep in order to stay alive. Um, 
I'm going to try and integrate this as seamlessly as possible with the playthrough. If it starts to get really annoying, like, oh my god, I'm thirsty again, or whatnot, then I may either tweak the mod or remove it altogether if people tell me that it's just ridiculous. Did I seriously, like, just... <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That just looks weird. Okay, anyway. Where the hell did that blood come from? Was that all me? I don't even know. Oh, the bucket. I thought that was an arrow under there. I got all excited. Alright, there was, like, no weapons in here, Olaf. Why did you bring Done. me this way? Let's get moving. Fine. Alright, now we get to go to the torture chamber. Ooh, you know what? I want to put that cloak on. Yeah, I have cloaks of Skyrim installed. The cloaks are really cool. I'll have to get a nice, um, nice cloak for this character. Okay. We've got this under control. Well, that was completely useless. No, I haven't seen him since the dragon showed up. That is a nice sword she's got. Almost kind of wish she had died, so I could have yoinked it from her. He's got a dagger on him. I'm gonna wear this just because. Oh, she looks so awesome. Wish I could hide her helmet though. A mace? No. Ah, there's a shield. There's always a shield running around someplace. How much damage does that mace have? 11? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna keep those two. I'll take this mace. I'll equip the mace and the shield for right now. Yep, I will favorite that. And let me go into magic and favorite some stuff. We'll favorite a destruction spell. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to favorite for right now. Because that's really all I've got. Alright, so we'll put the melee weapon. Actually, uh, yeah, we'll put the melee weapon on the first hand and then we'll do flames on the other one. Okay, that's what I was afraid it was going to do. Um, hmm. I d the one mod that I don't have is some mod that allows me to equip a one hand weapon with a shield. That's the only serious complaint I have. And I'm gonna have to find one soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just did that you. And there's nothing in here. Okay, well I got some lockpicking experience and I got some practice and stuff. Alright. Nope, not quite. There we go. I'm pretty good at the lockpicking game, so honestly, I might not pick up a lot of the, you know what, I'm just gonna take everything. I'm gonna, I can disenchant that. And there's nothing in there. Uh, I'm probably not going to pick up a lot of the lockpicking skills. I will probably pick up a couple of the pickpocketing skills, though, at some point. Um, though I don't typically pickpocket in Skyrim or Oblivion or any of the Elder Scrolls games, for that matter. Um, I don't know. Pickpocketing... It just seems like more of a pain in the ass than anything. Okay. It seems like I get caught more often than not. I guess I should put it that way. I don't want your robes. Okay, nothing else interesting here. Uh, I'm sorry, but you two are most likely going to die. Wow, your face. Okay, let's just do this. I'm a freaking cashew. Where are the other NPCs? Why aren't they moving? This is concerning me. Orders are to wait until General Tully has arrived. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to fall back. Guys. Give the general some time. Guys. Oh, fudge. Oh, he saw me. Screw Don't it. Come here. Give me your freaking weapon. Basic bow. Basic bow. Okay. This way I can start getting some skill with the bow. 
Uh, we'll actually do this. One, two, three, four. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. Guys. Guys, now you show up to help me out? Seriously? Alright, come here. Mm, there. Uh, he's hurt. I'll just finish him off later. Stop fucking moving. Really? Are we doing this? There. Lol. Alright, they're done. Oh, let's see here. Oh, we got another one here? Bam. I love this kill move mod. I have um, another mod installed called, uh, oh my gosh, I forget what it's called. It's a kill move mod though. Violens, I think? Violens. Yeah, that sounds right. It's like violence, but like lens effects and yeah. It, it, weird name. Really neat. Actually kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, it's a kill move mod. So basically when I kill somebody and they are the last NPC of a group of NPCs that I'm currently killing. Ooh, a basic iron bow. Then, oh, is that what I have on? I don't understand. Oh, because I have that equipped right now. Uh, then it will activate the kill move, which is really fun and cool. I actually never seen this area over here. Is this an alternate way out? Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. I have played Skyrim for three years. Why have I never seen this? Wait, what the? Seriously? What? You gotta be kidding me. No, 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 no. How did I... Okay, I'm not even sure what the heck I just did there. That was weird. No, that's the way I came. I just didn't loot that stuff. Okay. I got completely turned around for a second there. That was really confusing. Okay. I thought that there was an area, like, over there that I'd never explored. I thought that's where I was standing. On this side over here. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I just got completely turned around. It's all fine. Alright, Orloff. Ready to go? I'm going to save my game. Because for whatever reason, sometimes uh, walking across this little threshold here when I'm close to roll off will crash my game. So I'm just going to jog ahead of him really quick so that I can't hear his voice. And then that should prevent my game from crashing. And then I just have to hang out and wait for him for a minute. I have these awesome water effects, which are amazing. Uh, this is water, uh, W-A-T-E-R, with periods in between all that. Um, just makes some beautiful looking water. Uh, it makes the rocks around water actually, you know, look wet, uh, which is really, really cool. Gives a really nice ambiance. That's a beautiful screenshot right there. You know what? Hell with it. I'll take a screenshot of that. There we go. Add it to my Steam gallery. Yoink. You're dead. I don't think you're going to need that anytime soon. That's another nice screenshot right there. Oh, this is the spiders. Alright. Uh, four is my flame spell, right? There it is. Okay. I don't even know if that reached him. It didn't. Ugh. Okay. Is that everybody? No, that wasn't everybody. I see a red dot on my radar. Alright, take the frostbite venom. Oh, Roloff got the kill, so I didn't get a kill move. Oh well, many that's okay. Eyes. Too many eyes. <laughs> that's the only reason why you hate them, Roloff? That's fine. Okay. I'm not gonna go bothering the eggs. There's not usually anything except four eggs inside of them, so... Not even really worth going in there. 
All right, gonna grab a bow. Is there anything good in here I might want? Oh, there's a person here. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. See her? Yeah, I'm not really the I'm subtle type. No, I want to tangle with her. Oh, that was a sneaky kill shot. That was awesome. All right. Very nice. Excellent. All right. Yes, yeah, so you may see that I have like iron arrows and orichalium arrows and all sorts of craziness. Like iron Nordic arrows. Uh, those are all from Armory of Tamriel and they're amazing. Uh, I also have another mod for uh, arrows and bows. Really? Again? No shit, Sherlock. And um, it basically tears the damage of the arrows. Because in the original Skyrim, there's really no reason to use different arrows. They were all kind of the same amount of damage. Which, honestly, was kind of lame. 